It's the most notorious murder of a journalist in Ukraine's history. The 2000 killing of Georgi Gangadze, founder of the Ukrainska Pravda news site. Oleksiy Pukach, a former general of the Interior Ministry of Ukraine, is serving a life sentence for the killing. But he may go free. Gangadze's widow Miroslava is appalled that Pukach might be released. When, when, when I heard that I could meet Mr. Pukach on, on Khrushchev, I, I felt I would not come to Ukraine. Like, I, I, I'm afraid to come to Ukraine. Even thinking that Pukach would be out is make, make me really sick to my stomach. We cannot, we cannot let it, let it be, let it go. Georgi Gangadze was a prominent critic of Leonid Kuchma, Ukraine's second president. Then, in September 2000, Gangadze was kidnapped and brutally murdered. Two months later, Socialist Party leader Alexander Moroz publicized audio recordings allegedly made in Kuchma's office. They appeared to show the president ordering his subordinates to, quote, do something with Gangadze. After Georgi's murder, my life uh, split in before and after. All these 19, 18 years, uh, I was like a, a tight rope. I could not release my emotions. And uh, only now I realize how serious I was psychologically damaged. Seven years after the murder, three police officers were convicted of killing Gangadze. They were sentenced to 12 and 13 years in prison. But it took even more time to arrest and convict the leader of the group, Alexei Pukach. Um, there was never enough political will to solve the crime. Uh, there was some political will uh, to, uh, to bring some uh, justice to the case because it was very important for the society. In 2009, Pukach was found in a village in Zhitomir Oblast where he was living under his real name. He was finally found guilty of murdering Gangadze in 2013. He was sentenced to life in prison. And I think uh, the court uh, got enough evidence uh, to sentence him to life in prison, and he admitted the crime. Pukach has been appealing his sentence ever since. Вони даже записів моїх розмов з Кравченком не оприлюднюють. А чого? Тому що говорить, вас треба нагороджувати. Не садить, а нагороджувати. Пукач claims that Gangadze was a mercenary and says he was only doing his job. Покажіть мені документ, що він журналіст. За 19 років. Покажіть документ. Ну, він за основним на Кукраїнську Хай покаже документ, що він діяч журналіст. Де документ? But Pukach keeps changing his testimony. Initially, Pukach said that Kuchma should have been on trial with him, implying that the ex-president ordered the murder. But now, years later, he carefully avoids any mention of Kuchma. Um, I think that the, the second president of Ukraine is responsible. I think Georgi was murdered because President Kuchma was talking about him in his office. But the question remains, was he really wanted to Georgi to be murdered? Or somebody listening or recording him did something, organized something to, uh, to make it looked like he is responsible. That question is still open, but it's 100% that he 
is responsible because he was talking about Georgi. And that's enough for me to hold him responsible. His next court hearing takes place on October 9th, 2019. His case will be heard by the Supreme Court. If the court satisfies his cassation claim and lessens his sentence, Gangadze's murderer might be released. He's a dangerous man. He was not involved only in Georgi's murder. He was involved in other uh, harassment of journalists and political activists. And uh, honestly, the fact that he was uh, captured was very important for me. After that, I came to Ukraine first time. If you look around the world, uh, the cases uh, of murder of, or harassment or intimidation of journalists are not uh, solved. Usually, uh, the perpetrators and instigators got uh, unpunished. And I think the, the culture of uh, political corruption in this country is so deep that and everybody is so um, dependent and on each other, I mean, the leadership, the politicians, that um, they have some internal agreements that we don't even know. And they are hiding, obviously hiding their crimes. Thank you.